How's it going guys? It's Nathan, made this DIY garage, and today we have a CCV valve from a BMW M52 or M54 engine. Now we're going to start off here with two different, two different valves. We have one that's taken apart. I'm going to show you what goes wrong on the CCV that causes you the lean codes, that causes you the rough start, and causes a surging idle. So the one that's taken apart is stacked like this. It'll have a spring in here. It'll have this guy in here like this, right? So this sits under the intake manifold. This actually sits like, let's see, how was it? I think it sits like that. No, like that. So how this works is you have a drain. The drain is on the bottom that goes to the oil dipstick, which you can see right here, it has a little fitting on it. Uh, and then basically how it works is this goes to the intake manifold. This goes to the valve cover. Actually, I think I said like this. Um, but anyhow, that's how this thing works. It pulls vacuum through this top hose. It pulls vacuum on this diaphragm. And then it basically is supposed to keep a little bit of negative pressure at certain vacuums on the crankcase uh, when you're driving and then the oil residue can drip down in here while the uh, condensation gets reburned. That's how it's supposed to work. Now, some common failures of this are one, this diaphragm. I'll let me get this out of here without snapping it off. Yep, there we go. This diaphragm gets rotten. And this is the same problem on the M62 TU V8. Pretty much any BMW has this, and newer ones have it on the top of the valve cover. And these will get ripped in the crease of that diaphragm. That's one failure point. The next failure point is that something will happen to this hose right here. It'll get snapped off. This is the one that goes to the valve cover. And a break here will cause lean codes. It will cause all kinds of weird stuff. The next thing is this hose could break. This hose goes up to the intake manifold. This goes to the equalizer on top of the manifold. And this has heavy, heavy vacuum fed down to it. So there's a leak up here. You're going to have a bad vacuum leak. Now, the number one scenario is basically a shop charges you $600 to replace this. You could buy these off eBay. They're about 40 bucks. And we do the catch cans. We don't put these on anymore because they're so undamn reliable. I just got sick of it. Um, the number one complaint is people saying, I took my car to the shop. It was at the dealer. It was at a, what people call it, indie or a third party BMW shop. Had the CCV done. It still has lane codes. There's no other vacuum leaks anywhere. And I don't know what to do. Please help me. So most of the time what happens whenever whoever is reinstalling this and they're putting it back in there and it's a super tight fit and you notice here that it gets really narrow almost knocked you guys over it gets really narrow and darken that up just a little bit too dark there we go uh at this place right here at this little joint and here on your m62 tu here's the vacuum line that goes up through the fuel rail just in case you're wondering. But what most shops will do, they don't want to take the insect manifold off to do this job because it's more labor. They want to hurry up and get it done, get it out, and they try to force it back in. So what happens when they try to force it back in, let's see if I can do it, is that. Now I've had to put a lot of pressure because this one, this is actually, or was a name brand one, uh, if you get a cheap one, that might break a little bit easier. Uh, but you have to understand something. They're so hard to get in with the intake manifold on, it takes a tremendous amount of pressure. And nine times out of ten, they'll get snapped, or they won't be all the way broke, and they'll get stressed enough with a crack right there at that joint. That's the number one failure You know, on a new CCV valve. I see that a lot. Another failure is sometimes they have to market ones. This diaphragm isn't made correctly. Uh, it has problems within the, within the first month. Um, or there'll be another leak somewhere. 
you know, in the seam or wherever, you know, there's many different variables. Another possibility too is this hose that goes to the valve cover and the one that goes to the vacuum is a push lock type fitting. It's supposed to squeeze it and it pulls apart. Now, a lot of times what happens, there is a little oil ring right there. And a lot of times when they plug it back in, it'll be cocked to the side a little bit and not locked on just quite right and it'll leak. So that's your CCV leak. I, you know, I put a lot of videos up of this problem. It is a catastrophic problem. Once this goes, the car will start smoking blue. Um, if it rips all the way around, which if you keep running it, it will. It'll pull oil through and burn it at an alarming rate. It'll burn all seven cores out of your engine in about 40, 35, 40 minutes on the interstate. If it's at nighttime, you won't see it. Shops absolutely hate it when we take this off, throw it away, put the $15 catch can, or you can put a $100 catch can on, whatever you want to do. This is a lot of BMW shops bread and butter. This is how they make a lot of money. They guaranteed to go out, you know, every 80, 90,000 miles. You can almost guarantee get the customer for it. Now, here's a, this one's pretty much brand new. We took it off before there's any problems. I just kind of threw it on the shelf to save as an extra. This one we're going to toss anyway, because it was looking pretty charred. It's getting pretty old. Um, so yeah, you know, what we've been doing, you can see some of the past videos. We'll keep this end where it snaps on the valve cover. I'll take a razor knife and cut down and then pull this hose separate from the end and that'll allow you to only have to have a three quarter inch hose instead of a one inch hose to go on top of the valve cover so you can do that also that's pretty much it guys uh, for this video if you see people on the video leaving thumbs down as soon as I put the video out if you see people bitching on there nine times out of ten they're working at the dealership working at a shop these videos are not polished. There's not goofy music on every one of these videos. There's not all this crazy stuff. Well, my videos are designed to do to show you how to fix your BMW and nothing else. And that's it. That's all guys. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day.